Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to this special episode where I am going to discuss about two stocks which I recommended about 1-2 years before. Uh, that's none other than PFC and REC. I just want to tell you a story and this is going to be my honest story. So, I am not going to hide anything. Sometime in 2014, I was invited as an expert in a local television channel called Sun TV. They used to have a program called Vartagavalagam. So, where I go and sit there and then anchor will be asking some questions and public can make a phone call, can ask any question related to stock market. The Sun TV recognized me as a, an expert. But the fact is that I was not an expert. But I was not an expert. I know that but the Sun TV did not know. So, they invited me. Every time I go there, people used to make a phone call, uh, Sir, what stock can we buy? What stock can you recommend? Uh, as I told you, I am a trader, I am not an investor and my skills in you know analyzing the fundamentals, this and that is not really uh, very good. So I thought what to recommend. Then I thought you know, the safest thing to recommend is high dividend yield stocks. Let us say a stock is giving 10% dividend yield. The probability of that falling very very low and because once it falls maybe let us say 50% then the dividend yield alone become 20%. You know the 20% dividend yield you know so everybody will be coming and investing instead of putting the money in a bank FD you can buy do here. But however the chances are very less but still it can fall. Say for example Coal India was trading around 240, 250 rupees. That time itself its dividend yield was very, very high. But from 240, it came down to 150, 160 also. But still, once the price comes in, why do you worry? You no need to sell, just hold it. You keep getting the dividend, which is better than the bank FD return. And then one or the other day, the markets will go up. You can sell it if you want. In that logic, to be as a very very safe site and I recommended some stocks. I still remember those stocks Tata Investment Corporation where the dividend yield was around 5.5 to 6 percent and there is a group in Chennai called Rane. Rane Engine Valves, Rane Madras, Rane Brakes. That group stocks you know they were all trading with 10 percent 11 percent dividend yield. Then there is one government company called Balmer and Lari. These are the stocks having high dividend yield. So that's what I recommend that. In fact, honestly telling you at the time of that recommendation, even I was not very confident or I was not, you know, realizing the full potential. I just want to recommend some stocks which are safe for the people. But then two to three years time, so those stocks have given multifold return. Tata Investment Corporation which I recommended around 400, 450 shot up to 1400, 1500. Rane Group all shot up you know 3 times, 4 times, 5 times and Balmer and Larry did not do very well but still the dividend yield was good and also gave some good return. There is another company called Oil India. They are all like you know have given excellent returns. Then I realize the potential. Most of the people think you know you have to buy only the momentum stocks to make profit. But when the markets are at low level, if you buy high dividend yield stocks, that can also give very good profit. So the best example was REC and PFC. PFC about one, one and a half year before I recommended when it was trading around 90, 100 rupees and now it has shot up to 270, 280 rupees, almost three times and see 300 percent return plus 10 percent dividend yield. And last time I did a workshop in Bangalore, one of the workshop attendees told me, Sir, when you recommended REC and PFC, I bought REC and PFC with all my capital. And now I am sitting with 250 to 300 percent return plus I am having a 10 percent dividend yield and plus just by looking at your YouTube videos, I only trade in December options. There I got 40 percent profit. So, 300 percent return on investment, 10 percent dividend yield plus 40 percent return on trading, you know where else you can get this kind of money. So, he was very very happy. 
and that's how he came into my workshop rec i recommended around 120 now it is around 220 but they have given 1 is to 3 bonus i think now pfc is also going to declare bonus 1 is to 1 now coming to the negative part is it all rosy picture i don't think so because the power sector there were lot of changes i think that time 2014 i still remember when i went on sun tv so somebody asked me what about power sector you know that time they were very famous on reliance power reliance power which was issued at 300 400 rupees gone to 30 rupees 40 rupees And later i think it has gone to 3 rupees 4 rupees also i just replied for fun uh, power sector the fuse is gone already so there is no power for the power sector but now for rec and pfc there are lot of structural changes and these people finance the uh, discoms they were not able to recover the money so they brought lot of schemes and you know so they give the loan to the discoms and then ask them to repay you know this dues and if they clear the dues in time so they will be getting some uh, penalty will be waived this and that now pfc is also venturing into non power financing related areas so far they used to lend only to power sector now they are going to lend to infrastructure sectors also so they are diversifying and there are many many changes and again every time our view may not go right i'll give you one view where my view was wrong i recommended itc also the same reason because the high dividend yield but then what happened the government of india change the rules related to dividend earlier the companies will pay about 20% dividend distribution tax to the government after that they pay the dividend to us in the hands of investors the dividend was tax free but later they change the rule now the companies do not have to pay dividend distribution tax to the government they can pay dividend directly to the investors but when the investors when they receive the dividend so it become their income and they have to pay tax so mostly ultra hni clients they end up paying about 40 42% tax if the company is paying they will pay only 20% dividend distribution tax the money will be coming into investor which is tax free so effectively the investor pay only 20% but now because of this rule change you know the investor will have to pay tax to the government at the rate of 35 40 42% 40, i thought because of this especially ultra hni clients may not show interest in uh, buying high dividend yield stocks so that's why i came out with a video itc doomed but itc has given 250% return sometimes you know our view can go wrong i will give you one more example the best example sometime in 2014 15 i studied about the crude oil prices and crude oil prices are being traded in us markets for the next 10 years by studying something i understood that the future for crude is not going to be good the crude prices will come down and what happened i thought if the crude prices come down who will be the beneficiary i thought oil marketing companies will be the beneficiary then i bought ioc i bought hpcl and i bought bpcl these shares and what happened as expected the crude prices came down as and when the crude prices came down the government of india increased the duty so the benefit was not passed on to the oil marketing companies and later i think after 2 or 3 years there was one incident where there was a slight increase in the crude price so the government of india instead of reducing the tax so they asked the oil marketing companies to take up the loss and that day when the announcement came and all the oil marketing companies fell 10% and you know i effectively my view was right the crude prices came down but i did not make profit in oil marketing companies but during the same time instead of buying oil marketing companies had i bought asian paint the price would have doubled because Asian paint is also related to crude only because once you get the crude oil so from the crude oil petrol diesel is taken out so whatever is the residue is there so that becomes the raw material for the paint so when the crude prices go down 
so the paint industries will benefit my mistake was that you know crude prices will go down and i thought oil marketing companies will benefit but i did not think the derivative of the crude which is uh, paint industry i did not buy the paint industry shares but because of the government policies the oil marketing companies did not give any good return whereas the paint companies gave very good return that is why many times i say news by itself has got no use how you interpret that news and your interpretation is more important so the crude oil will fall that is a news but how do i interpret it in terms of oil marketing companies and i did not make money at somebody who had interpreted in terms of crude oil derivatives and paint companies they have benefited more so these are all some stories i just wanted to share because i have no other video to post today so that's why i, I just thought of sharing these stories with you hope you enjoyed watching these stories thank you for watching